Hey there, it's Mark Drager from the Not So Corporate Podcast, and today we're going to talk about what makes good creative. So we got a question in from a viewer, Ruben Isaac, who asked on YouTube, what makes good creative? In my mind, there are four things that I think you should focus on when you're thinking about creative. But keep in mind that it really changes depending on who you're speaking to. If you're speaking to the client, if you're speaking to an agency, if you're speaking to the director, each person will think of creative slightly differently. From my point of view, the four things you should think of start with does it work for the brand? So it's not to say, is it in line with everything else the brand has done? It's whether it matches up to the brand. Does the creativity align with the the brand, what it is they stand for, where it is they're going? And again, not to say that you're just gonna do what they've done in the past, or you're gonna stick within the box. You can certainly push outside of the box. You can certainly push the client, and I encourage you to do that. But you certainly don't want um, a technology brand to feel fireside acoustic guitar-like. You don't want a cookie company to feel cold and distant. So you need to make sure that your creative works for the brand. The second thing is whether it speaks to the audience. So, you know, I really focus on target audience a lot. Um, there are going to be people that you want to connect with it, and you're going to be people that you want to repel. There are going to be people that have motivations to engage with it and watch it within a certain channel, and there are going to be people who will never come across it. And that's okay. You can't speak to everyone. You know, I heard someone at a conference once say that if you're trying to speak to everyone, you're speaking to no one. You need to be willing to make sure that your creative speaks to a specific audience and be really, really focused on that. The third thing is something that I learned early on in my career, and that's whether your creative is actually achievable or not. You know, a lot of times you can come up with the most amazing creative that works on paper, but then when you play it out and you get to the final product, you say, how come it doesn't quite work? And that's because, in my opinion, too many people are tied to their concept or their idea or their creative, and they ignore whether it's achievable or whether reality can, can tweak it here or there. Imagine that you had a scene where there was a little teddy bear that was brought to life, and a little girl runs across the room and hugs the teddy bear. Okay, so you have the moment to be really engaging and really interesting, and let's say that that's the creative for the piece. Kind of simple, but that's what we're going to work with. Let's say now the client says, well, I don't really want it to be a teddy bear. I want it to be a whale because the whale is in line with our brand and this is what we're doing. And we go, okay, great. Now a whale's coming to life. They say, well, what? You know, we can't really have it just be a little girl. We need it to be a little girl and a little boy because we need to be gender inclusive. We need to make sure that we have both those people. And if there's a way we can be multi-generational and perhaps have the a grandparent in the background and as well, I'm worried about them all being a Caucasian family. So can we have them be multicultural as well? So now we've moved from a little girl running across the room hugging a bear to a little girl and a little boy and a grandparent in a mixed race family all running to a whale. You know, it's not that the original creative wasn't really good, it's just each little change took it away from where it started. And so either you need to stay with what's going to work on paper or you need to be willing to adapt and say, you know, the final product isn't what we originally pitched. It isn't the original creative because each little change in iteration has taken something away from it. I would much rather have um, a simpler creative that is achievable, that you can stay with, that, that will support the room for change as you work through the project than a really ambitious creative that is very, very unlikely to pull off, uh, that is technically challenged or what have you. It's not that I don't want you to swing for the fences. Swing for the fences and push and do the very best work you can, but just be realistic to see whether your creative is actually achievable or not. The fourth and final thing is whether the creative will help the client stand out. Now, a lot of times clients think that it's them versus a competitor, but the truth is it's not, it's not what they produce and whether it stands up or helps them stand out against what the industry is doing or the competitor is doing. It's whether what they're doing is gonna stand out in the minds of the audience from every other piece of media they come across. So we had a client that was producing a project that was a surprise and delight. They were arriving and giving this amazing gift to these people and they wanted to be over the top. What I had to remind them of is the fact that if I'm watching this in the greater world and I'm a viewer, you're not competing against what other companies in your industry are doing to surprise and delight clients. You're competing against all media. You're competing against, you know, extreme home makeover challenge and you know, you're competing against every piece of, of content that has shown up at some place and surprised someone and delighted them. That's what you're competing against. Yes, we're going to do something that's, that's better than anyone else in your industry, but within the social world, we need to make sure that your creative 
stands up against the scrutiny in the viewer's mind against every other piece of content. That's a really high bar to hit, but that's what you should be aiming for. Now you're gonna say, but you know, earlier you said you should do something simple. You shouldn't swing for the fences. There's a difference here. We need to produce something that will be on the same level of other every other piece of medium and will stand up for it. That's the goal, that's what we're aiming for, that's what we need to hit. But you can still do that within what is realistic and achievable creative. I know that was a bit of a longer answer. I hope I answered your question, Ruben. And if you have a question of your own, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll make a video answering it for you if I can. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to the channel, share, like, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.